Dare County is known for its boat building worldwide. We've been talking about boat building for a very long time. We're in Manio and we have launches. We have a lot of boat builders. We have a lot of boat building families that go to our school and we are waiting for the right person to come along to teach it. So Greg came along and we're so excited that he's with us and he wants to take on this project. So it's a big project. All right, kids, come on, man. We're gonna plane. What I teach here is carpentry and, and a lot of it is that, how to use clamps how to properly use a drill. It's, it's all about the tools and, and how to glue things up and really skills that translate into simple home ownership even if they're not in the trades. We've been blessed with some, some great help with this program. Both Crossway and Bayless have been a huge help and they've been here several times, you know, to look over things, help us keep going in the right direction and today they, they actually caught that our frame had moved. It was no longer square, it wasn't in place. So it never occurred to me that that might move and they caught that and so we're, we're anchoring it to the floor. Obviously we're passionate about boat building if we're doing it as a career. Dare County has a, a long heritage with boat building and it's pretty well known for it. So we feel it's pretty important to pass that on to the next generation and keep that heritage going. It's a 21 foot center console, Harker's Island style. So boat building has always been an important part of Roanoke Island and Manteo. Kind of got in the heyday, it, was like it began in the 1870s with a boat like the Shad Boat here and was uh, developed by George Washington Creef. What the high school is doing is kind of cool in keeping that tradition alive. You know, we've gone from taking a tree out of the, out of the woods, carving it, putting it together, to going to uh, coal molding, carbon fiber, you know, Boat building is an important business, and not only boat building, but the extra businesses around the island that keep boat building going, like the welding shops, the engine shops, the suppliers, and that type of thing. Uh, we started out going to Bayless, where they showed us their CNC machines and how to cut those pieces out that formed this frame. First, we built this base. We had to make sure that that was square and perfectly level, which we did. Then we built up this frame, dry fitting everything together, no glue, just to make sure that it was right. Then we took it back apart and, and put it together again, only this time with epoxies to hold it in place. The skill set that is needed to build a boat, you know, it's carpentry, it's, it's painting, um, ultimately it's electrical, you know, it's very detail oriented. You're working with curves and stuff like that that they're not used to working with, you know, if you're building houses or sheds or, you know, those kind of things that you might typically see in a shop project. So, you know, new techniques and things that they haven't seen before. Uh, but again, that's, that's where, you know, we're willing to step in and make sure that the boat is progressing the way it needs to, the students are learning what they need to, and ultimately we have a successful project on the back end. Academically, this is great for the kids because they use all sorts of things. They use their interpersonal skills, they use communication, teamwork with each other, working with different people in the industry. It's also, they're integrating math, science, everything comes together. So it's really, really cool to see them bringing their academic work into actual practice. So this is applying their academic work. My hope is that this project does lead to, to more like it in the future. I'm looking forward to it floating. That's what we all look forward to when we build a boat. You know, it's cool to design the process, but when you finally get to start that motor and go run her down the sound and feel the wind in your hair and, you know, I built this. I mean, there's no better, better feeling in the world than that. It's, it's pretty cool.